Time now for final exam where you pit two of the smartest people we know against one another to find out who knows more about this week's news. We're joined tonight by two Fox News guests, people you know well. A.B. Stoddard is an associate editor at Real Clear Politics. Mark Stein is an author and columnist and sits in to host this show. They join us both. Great to see you. <laughs> Neither one of you has been on this show. We have no even prediction for who's going to win. Not at all. May a fair fight commence. Okay, here yeah. are the rules. You put your hands on the buzzers. I'm going to ask the questions. The first one of you to buzz in gets to answer the question. You have to wait until I finish asking the question in order to buzz in. Each correct answer is worth a point. If you get one wrong, you lose a point. It's like the SAT that way. Best of five wins. Uh -huh. The winner, by the way, gets the coveted mouth breather mug. I want that so yeah. bad. See, America, America, America does. But it's an inside job, and even though I'm already palmed down, Mark. No, no, I, it's no, an inside no. job. I'm trying to be at the ready. But it's an Shan, inside job. Shannon Bream's got a full dinner service of that after. Shannon that. Bream is I, three weeks in a row. Exactly. All right, he, here's the first question. She's got the mouth breather creamer and sugar bowl. <laughs> right. We need to do that. The ramekins. <laughs> question Butter. one. Which tech billionaire bought an $80 million plot of land in the state of Arizona this week to build what he's calling a high-tech smart city? Tech billionaire, $80 million piece of property in Arizona to build a tech city. I am so excited that we're both pausing. Mark Stein. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Good guess. Is that the correct answer to the tape? Gates snapping up 25,000 acres, thousands of acres in Arizona. That's huge. Price tag, $80 million. 80,000 homes and plenty of room for industry with high-speed data centers and self-driving cars. Are you ready for this, Bill? Bill Gates, a planned community. Would you want to live there? I wouldn't want to live in any community planned by Bill Gates because it's like living in Windows 97 for the rest of your life. <laughs> ah. That's exactly right. I totally mm. agree. All right, question two. During his 12-day trip to Asia, the continent, President Trump was serenaded by a world leader. Which Asian president sang him a love song that included these lyrics, You are the light in my world? Maybe yes. Duterte of the Philippines. Duterte of the Philippines, says Alexander A.B. Stoddard. To the tape. And at the ASEAN dinner, Duterte sang a love song with a famous Filipino pop star, saying he did it on orders from President Trump. The orders of the Commander-in-Chief of the United States. <laughs> That's that's the best since Putin did Blueberry Hill. That is, <laughs> that is really that's great. That is fantastic. I you know, know what? Actually, a lot of people, you know what? I, I I I learned about that through reading, and that was my first time actually hearing it. It was really painful. Wow. Yeah, that was. Learned I don't want to see that reading. again. I can't. You're an hear old it. school journalist. I can't it. All right. Question three is a multiple choice question. Oh dear. When people do we pass? Magazine. <laughs> yes. As soon as I give you all three answers, People Magazine, which still exists just named the 2017 sexiest man alive. Was it one, Chris Hemsworth, two, Brad Pitt, or three, Blake Shelton? But wait, there was an honorable mention, actually, and that goes to our very own Mark Stein. I think we have him on the screen. <laughs> Mark Stein, sexiest man alive. I was going to say Mark Stein, uh, but I think I'll go with Chris Hemsworth. Cl Chris Wrong. Hemsworth. It's Blake. Well, we'll find out. Mm. Chris Sorry, Hemsworth. Was that, was that inappropriate? Does the tape <laughs> confirm Mark Stein's guess of Chris Hemsworth? Have you seen this yet? People Magazine's annual Sexiest Man Alive oh. edition. That honor goes to Blake Shelton this year. <laughs> I don't get the point because I, I banged at the wrong time, right? That's true. Okay, well... I was Let wrong. the record show. Do you know who Chris Hemsworth is? Yeah, isn't he the mighty Thor? I have no idea. Neither do I. But you knew it was Blake Shelton. I did. Do you know who he is? No. Blake. I just heard it in but the background he while the I was getting ready male. for work on like some TV show or radio show that I had on. Fantastic. Yeah. My guest, Chris Cuomo, but he was not on the list. Uh. Question four. A painting of Jesus sold for nearly half a billion dollars yesterday at an auction in New York City. The artwork was created by which Renaissance painter? Mark Stein! I know this one. 
Leonardo Do Vinci, as the New York Post put it. <laughs> Leonardo Do Vinci. Yeah. Does the tape confirm Leonardo? The painting, which depicts Jesus, is referred to as the last Da Vinci because it's believed to be the only painting by the artist still in private hands. 19 minutes after the opening gavel, the painting sold for $450 million, the highest price ever for a piece of art. Leonardo is right, and not DiCaprio. No, and that will retain its value longer than your Microsoft stock or Amazon or any of that. Yeah, half billion for that. That will pay off in a... Very impressive. If I'm looking for a new investment advisor, you're the man. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is your buy, case. Buy Leonardo. That's good advice. Well, we're going to see if you can get back to zero. Okay. Okay, back, back to, to equilibrium, stasis, okay. par. Okay, final question. Boston Dynamics, the robotics company, just came out with a rechargeable robotic pet to keep sad people company. The robot is modeled after which kind of animal? Mark Stein. Uh, based on what they have in Japan, I think I'm going to go with cat. Cat is a robotic cat, the answer. Look at this. Boston Dynamics has developed what it says uh, the most creepy advanced. video. <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah. Uh, that's a robotic dog. It's, it's called terrifying. Oh my God. God. It's not. <laughs> it's 55 pounds, all electric. Oh, it can go 90 it's minutes creepy. on a charge. It doesn't even remotely what it's for. resemble Any a dog. Idea? No. To creep us out. <laughs> to creep us out. It, a, a cat was a great. It was a great guess well. because, th consider the market they're aiming yeah, at. Yeah, right, yeah. it's obviously a cat market. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as AB pointed out, it looks more like an insect than a than yeah, dog. Yeah, doesn't look like a dog at all. AB Stoddard, you win. Oh. You get the mouth breather mug. Congratulations, Mark. I know Stein, that when good Mark, job. I know when Mark anchors the show, he gets a freebie. Yes, so he I does. Feel I'm, I'm holding out for the Shannon Breen creamer. <laughs> I, I covered this. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out my Tucker Carlson. Congratulations to you both.